Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Man, oh my, the sun is out, you guys. You see that? Hallelujah. Thank God for the sun. Oh, it looks so beautiful today. <laughs> Such a beautiful change in scenery because the sun is out. What about yesterday? Three videos. Oh my goodness. That was not my intent, you guys. No way, no how. But you already know how things go. And uh, I had the GoPro mic set on auto. So auto causes it to try to filter out the wind whenever the wind blows. So that changes the sound of the video. And it did it the entire three videos because I didn't try to edit anything until I was done. So I apologize for that. I got my wind uh, shield on the GoPro today, the wind hood, so that the wind won't affect the auto because it's windy today. I know that it's windy. So I got the stereo mode on and you should be able to hear me quite fine without a bunch of problems. But I'm uh, I'm walking right here, literally beside my house to check out the water today. And as you can see, it has receded some. Um, I'm not going in the back, but I just wanted to see where the water was here because what I'm gonna do first thing is I'm gonna put the saw blade on my weed eater. And that's gonna be a separate video before I go and actually start work because you already know we get to making long videos. And as you can see, the water has dropped down quite a bit from yesterday, you guys. That's not the creek right there. Creek is over here, of course. But it's starting to only be in the banks now. So it's dropping pretty good. Just wanted to see what it looked like before we got to working on that saw. Not the saw, but on the chain. Nah, not a chainsaw, the weed eater. Get your mind right. I guess I'm still half sleep. <laughs> Before we put the saw blade on the weed eater. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. Now I'm gonna head on over to my, my work pad. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're at my work pad. <laughs> the old trampoline that's 23 years plus. And yes, it's got mold and everything else growing on it. But anyway, y'all already knew that from last week when uh, I deceived you in how to put together a potato rake. <laughs> I'm gonna try not. Hey, I was thinking about the scripture that says, um, how can the blind lead the blind lest they both fall in the ditch? So Lord have mercy, I was leading y'all right straight into a ditch last week. And I might mess around and do it again because I hadn't, uh, <laughs> I hadn't put this on in a while. Oh yeah, but uh, this is my weed eater, still weed eater. It's a FS56RC. And they actually say that with this, this brush cutter blade, that's what it's actually called, that you don't really want to be using it with this small of a weed eater. But since I don't do a lot of heavy duty cutting, it's all right. So you check and you make sure you check with uh, your dealer or whatever to see if your weed eater stands the um, requirements for running one of these brush cutter blades. And so let's see here. I got an adjustable wrench. I don't remember if I needed that or not. Got a 19 um, millimeter for the nut that comes with the package. Usually these, these come together. Actually, I got it from the big blue store. That was separate. And this little kit came together. And I'm gonna try to remember how I do it, okay? I got a nail here because if I remember correctly, you gotta, I remember correctly. I know that nail goes in there so you can get the head off. You can get the weedy to head off. I think it's, is it reverse? Th yeah, it's reverse thread too. It's reverse thread. So you go the opposite way. And that comes off like that. And let's see, let me turn this over. Okay, so now my blade is sort of worn out looking at it, but it's going to get done what I need to get done today. You fit it on that place there. I hope you can see, but uh, what's next? I think this is next. <laughs> I think this is next because it fits on the groove and it pushes up against that blade. Okay, 
and then this little cup looking thing here goes next and then the nut and with it being reverse thread it's got to go counterclockwise to get started so we're gonna turn that on hand tight and then get the ratchet and tighten it up and you got to hold that nail in there to keep it from turning and that blade has to stay on the grooved place see how it fell down it fell down because it's not on the grooved place oh man it keeps sliding off I guess this is a little tutorial maybe I, I get it right I guess this is I think this is right I don't want to pull on it too hard Ugh. like you said you gotta you gotta hold that nail in there to keep it from turning because it's gonna try to turn while you tighten it up I think that's about tight enough and I think that's gonna do it you guys oh man we, we got through it right <laughs> I get and the blade is turned right okay <laughs> so let's crank it up of course i hadn't crunk it up since uh since last grass mowing season but still is pretty good for firing on up it still got gas in there the mixture in there i'm gonna prime it three four five and let me see i guess choke would be up let's see here yeah i think that'll do it you guys Now that can be a very dangerous uh, implement there, so we got to be very careful with this thing. So, hey, that's that. Um, so I guess I'm gonna get my other stuff loaded up and we're gonna head to the beaver dam. But I wanted to do that little tutorial as a separate video because like I said, I got to try and save as much pace to try and get the video done when we actually get to work because you already know how that is. So that's how we install the brush cutter blade on the steel fs 56 rc so hey i'm gonna wrap this video up you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and make sure you tune in to the video after this because we're gonna put it to work and we're gonna try and get that uh get that culvert cleaned out all right so we'll see you in the next one